The atomic bomb exploded at 8.15 a.m. Japan time, approximately 580 meters above the hospital southeast of Sajiso Bridge, after 43 seconds of parabolic motion. On this day, clocks across Hiroshima stopped at 8.16. The intense wave of light from the atomic bomb explosion blinded thousands of people, and the heat of more than 6,000 degrees reduced everything to ashes, killing 30,000 people in the explosion that day. After the flash, sound wave and mushroom-shaped smoke cloud, a sea of fire and smoke enveloped the city, within a radius of 14 square kilometers, 60,000 houses were all destroyed, even the US bombers that had already returned to their flights felt the shock wave of the explosion. Hours after the explosion, US President Harry S. Truman gave the Japanese government an ultimatum, urging them to surrender immediately, but there was a delay in receiving a response. The Japanese side deliberated and decided that the war should continue, such was their stubbornness and arrogance that the US had to continue to entertain them with atomic bombs. On the morning of August 9, two B-29 bombers went to the skies over Kakura and Nagasaki to scout the weather conditions, while on the other side three B-29 bombers on this bombing mission took off from the Tennyson Island Air Base. At the front of the formation was the Boxka, piloted by Major Sweeney, which was carrying an atomic bomb named Fat Man, in the center was the Great Artist, which was responsible for measuring the explosion data, and at the end was the Great Stink, which was responsible for taking images of the explosion. Now the formation of bombers is preparing to meet at the rendezvous point at Okushima, Japan, but a few hours into the flight an accident occurs. The atomic bomb's fuse monitor lights up red, indicating that the bomb's fuse has been activated. The crew immediately went to check it out, and after careful inspection realized that the ground technician had connected two circuit switches incorrectly, but the problem was quickly solved. At 9.10 a.m., the Burkuska was the first to arrive at the rendezvous point at Ujiu Island, followed by the Great Artist. The two first arriving bombers circled over Okushima for nearly 40 minutes without waiting for the last giant stinker bomber. This was because the giant stinker had gotten lost in the thick clouds and was unable to reach the rendezvous point, so the Burkuska and the Great Artist had to continue their mission. They began their flight in the direction of Kakura at 9.50 a.m., and right in the middle of the flight another piece of bad news came in, as the weather conditions over Kakura began to deteriorate. At 10.44 a.m., when the Burkuska and the Great Artist arrived over Kakura, they realized that the entire city was covered in clouds and black smoke, so the pilots were unable to locate the target point through the clouds. As the pilots were told before departure that they could only bomb with an optical targeting system and not with unreliable radar guidance. So the two bombers had to continue circling over Kakura until the weather conditions improved. After circling for 45 minutes, the danger returned. The bomber's radar detected Japanese fighters, so Major Sweeney decided to abandon the bombing of Kakura and instead target Nagasaki, 152 kilometers away.